don't really know what to go for here or for Aura Fire. Probably something that can split push like along the lines of Pakiro or Benedetta. Oh! Ooh, the signature the choke comeback. comes out! He's inspired, man. He's seen Bruce Gold. Oh my god, against this team, I did not expect it. I did ask him in the back. I was with Arashi and the X-Borg too. What? Arashi, there... It's a Nana, it's a Barat, it's a Minotaur and a Herod. This is... Oh, oh man. And oh. a Fanny for Van. Oh, we... Okay. What I a just, banger. I just broke my fast. This is way too spicy. Oh, but... What? What do you think of the, about the Cho, Arashi? I think it's risky, man. There's so many ways that he can be... Yeah. Stopped here. The the Minion Fury, the Daytona's welcome. Of any being a bit more slippery, Nana just placing the Molina alone just deters him from making any play whatsoever. I would say that the Nana is a almost like a counter pick towards the Cho even. But hey, Yaoi has proven people wrong before. We'll have to see. Looking at the stats for the draft so far, the early to mid-game potential favors Evos. They do have an assassin. They have ways to really take control of those big fights. And the Harith. We'll be, we'll be coming online a lot faster compared to a claw technically with the item power spikes. So we'll see if Evos can dictate the tempo despite having technically the less dynamic engage. A battle for the first W of the season between Evos Glory versus Aura. The Dragon versus the Tiger. Who's gonna come out on top in MPL ID Season 13? Will it be the Dragons or the Tigers? The Dragons with a signature world level Cho. Unfortunately, we won't see him on the World Champion skin, but it's close enough, the KOF skin. Also for the Fanny, my goodness. Van, we were just talking about Assassin picks for Van. He's not really comfortable on it, Arashi, but it does seem like Van wants to prove everybody wrong. We were thinking he was going to go for something utility-based, trying to secure those retributions, but he's trying to flex his skills right here. Going with the Lethal Ignition as well. Aura, they got to be, be a bit more careful right here, especially with the more vulnerable laners. That they have, but that mid lane is definitely a power side for Aura that they can take advantage of. And to be fair, the only real threat for Van is that Cho. And looking at this, it looks like Gugun will take the first lead on Wonder with the Retribution. Showing again the great retreat that Gugun has been showing oh. so far, but there you go, that's a passive. You can see, it's, he's moving a lot slower. No longer is he just scuttling away out of sight. So that can very easily be punished the longer the game goes when you're positioning away from your turrets. It's really hard to lane against Vexana. Even though she got nerfed, I believe the projectile, the first kill, you know, speed is lowered to about 10%. That's a really good nerf, I guess. But it's still one of the best mages in terms of like, just laning phase, just, you know, chunking away all the HP. And while Van, no one saw that, don't worry. Ooh, a little cable maneuvers there, but it's still Gugun who is ahead, who has invaded the enemy jungle too. So Gugun's doing a good job uh, using this box here to try to limit the maneuvers and the farming from the Fanny. Fortunately for Van, no real deep invades have come from the side of Aura just yet. And speaking of uh, ambulance, by the way, Kabuki with the Quantum Charge. Uh, I believe Mirko prefers this combination over the Breeze Might. Yes. Good combination of utility and sustain in the lane. Going up against a Harry, that's definitely going to help out with the, uh, the harassment. But here we go, first neutral objectives. Jungle Show Ooh. down. Ooh. Hold up, hold up. Please there. be patient with us. Oh. Arrowing us back to the Lena Dawn. Thank you, Marshall. Let's take a look. What has transpired in our absence? And Turtle. So Aura got the turtle and Makes first sense. blood. I wish we could have seen how yeah. they did it because we were speculating already a step ahead for Aura. And look at their emblems, man. Again, Yaoi is intending to be all across the map. Agility, Wilderness Blessing. The longer the game goes, the more he's gonna be, he's gonna be trying to be annoying. And he has skill on the Vexana. He's trying to roam Ooh. around too, but there you go. Whoa! Really quicker with a terrifying now. Van, very low. There's an eternal guard as well there from Yeheskiel. He's gotta play it real, real safe. Yeah, speaking of playing real safe though, Fildora as a Parazzi has to be against an uh, export, like this is a match made, you know, it's a nightmarish matchup for him. He's gonna get chunked up real bad, especially before objective fights. And like, what are your job is to kind of survey the map and see what's, uh, what, uh, what options are available. It's gonna be hard for him to even stay alive. Good poke onto Van Strong. Pops in that region. Yeah, he's looking for an initiation, a pickoff perhaps right now. Only 1,000 gold from Aura, but they're already pressuring over on this purple buff. Too good. Doesn't want to overcommit. No shield unity. He might be able to look for an angle, but he decides it's a bit too risky and he backs off, giving Van another purple buff to play with. 
extending um, his life a bit longer here with yet another buff. We'll see what he can do with it though. He went for a dive towards the mid laner, but you're, sure, you're seeing again why the Vexana is so good. If he played that wrong and he has to just lands the Eternal Guard on top of the turret line, that could be the end, man. Under a turret, that's a long time to be crowd controlled. Sure, this is a assassin too. How much is he about to play with me? Well, Aran is gonna do his job. Gonna chunk up all the oh, Yowie quicker over way. The dragon that's the first kill to Yowie in this game. Van not able Ooh. to out retry Gugun as Gugun just takes it away from him right now. But Van already used the retribution, so they might be looking for some more even in the bottom side of the map. Kabuki actually doing a good job against Super Red, taking him low. And oh, there's already no. a little bit more of a backup here from Yowie, just zoning him away, giving Kabuki free space to hit. All right, Ooh. what? In the enemy jungle, enemy territory, 1v3 gets taken out. A glimpse of brilliance of Yaoi right away, just securing the objectives for Aura Fire. And, you know, right away pressuring Super Red on towards the bottom lane, getting a bit of a each, um gold from the plating for Kabuki. Look at how Kabuki is playing the lane though. Just impunity standing in front of Super Red, knowing that when it comes to just basic attack DPS, he wins it out. But Super Red with the Starlium here, now it's going to be just that much different. Aura might have to be a bit more careful. Wow. The most unreal stat. Yup. I mean, we saw it. Like, the four-man knockup towards the whole Onyx team is just absolutely ridiculous. And he can pick out the perfect target in CW. Like, that was probably one of the craziest pick off I've ever seen. And while he's trying to do so, again, again, Jeet Kune Do way the dragon into the eternal guard. And we expected the Minion's Fury to counter the dive. But what can you do when you're chain CC'd like that? Around in the mid lane, clearing the waves out away. Veldora's getting melted down by Aran. Look at Veldora's HP. And even in the bottom lane, Yaoi, again, Jeet Kune Do over the Warlord. Shield Unity over to Super Red. Zaman Force defensively with a pair Purify as well. Not a turret should be taken down. Veldora's getting chunked as well right now as Yaoi zones them away. Evos are still able to clear out the waves, but Evos, they're struggling man. right now because Van Strong for now is the main frontliner and he's hard controlled, which Aura has a lot of. It's gonna be so difficult for him to try and deal for his team. Well, let's see oh. right now. Oh, chain CC! And it's gonna be Van who wins it out right there. No CC to help Aura. Gugun gets brought back to the team. Aran's gonna target it down. And yes, Gil Flicker is out to safety, but no! Van finds the cut through Yaoi! Jikun no flicker combo, bringing Van back for Gugun to slay. Kabuki with a blazing duet now onto Warlord, who's forced to run away and has the passive, but now gets chased out by Yaoi. One more hit should do it. Ooh, Warlord's low. Yaoi's looking for the play, but he missed it earlier to shut Poo to get away, but Veldora eats him up, and it's an overall great trade for Evo's glory. For sure, but the gold lead is still towards Aura. There's still a lot of hurdle to climb for Evo's glory, but a win is a win nonetheless. Great move from Evo is to try and find a way to really win that fight out by just rushing, forcing Aura to kind of make a quick call in the middle of everything without getting the proper setup. Even though, if you think about it, Veldora on the EXP lane, bullied by the X Borg, and Van Strong is bullied by all the crowd control. The frontline possibility for Evos is just made very difficult. Not My Lord is up. And Aura is still on the other side of the map, though. He just makes the first move. He has killed the terror. Oh, the guard there you go. In the outplay Van on the assassin, but gets assassinated instead. Yaoi oh. eaten up right now with a minus fury. Veldora flickering. No, he doesn't get into the wall. Yaoi's able to flicker out and jump poo. Aran very deep in enemy territory. Brings him back very low. Aran hiding back. Flickers out. Super Red pops into the mod force, but he's not able to find the hit to reset his second skill. And that means it's a free lord over to the dragons without the retry being used up. Gugun wants to go for the enemy purple buff. Once again, Gugun's short class right. the object takes momentum, takes the turrets as well, and they're still looking for more as Van. Oh, Van on the S kill. Oh no, Van! Van gets locked up again! Kabuki finds the kill! Yeah, his kill survives! And it is again a disaster for Evo's glory! Van says hi, Yaoi says what's up, bro? You're gonna get kicked! And another kill, courtesy of Yaoi! I mean, yeah. we, we're talking about, oh, he let Van play, but it looks like the draft of Aura is meant specifically to really deny any real chance of pickoffs coming from him. The peel towards the back line is just insane right now. Sure, and right now 5k gold lead entering the 11th minute or 12th minute of the game for Aura versus Evo's glory. Kill department 3 for Aura. 
is looking pretty bleak, I gotta say, for E-Boss, especially when they have a much more early game composition rather than Aura. And what? audience prediction also says 60 to 40, Rashi. 60 to 40 for Aura, I think that's fair. Evos can still come back right here by all means. It's not, it's a 5k gold lead, but look at this. Oran, of all people, getting engaged on. Desperate Detonus welcome onto Oran. They tried. to get the Fraga oh. armor. Goodwin's going oh. in. Eternal Guards of Red. Is he going to be dead here? Ooh. Oh my goodness. He gets out just barely. But man, every attempt that Evos Glory are trying right now is just not working. Man, if Yeskil yes, landed Huge. the curse yeah. plus, if they can do so, but in this late stage in the game, targeting him when the objective is almost up, where he has the Piraga armor as well, it just shouldn't work. But like I said, there's not a lot of options left for Evos right here, especially with Aran just out Again. there, in their faces. All right, let's see if this, if this works out now. Eternal Guard on the three, Piraga armor. They got a Piraga <laughs> armor. Wow. The heal. Wow. It's desperate, and it did not work. Again, second Lord secured for Aura. Just the pseudo pressure that Aran puts, man. Like, every time he's in the front line, you can't really close up. It, it, whether you're Feldora, whether you're Vanstrong, the two frontliners are not frontlining. You know, the crowd window coming in from Yeheskyo on the Vexana isn't really all that wide in AoE. It's just one small circle. But you saw right there, multiple members just keep getting hit by it. And I dare say that's because Yaoi has been so dangerous that everyone from EVOS don't feel safe just being too far apart from their teammates. At, le at least far enough for, for Yaoi to just find an opening. So that is how Aura is just forcing EVOS to play a certain way. And once they do, they have the solutions ready for it. So this is a layered strategy, a layered approach coming from Aura. And look at the wave management, man. Wow. It's almost perfect. Yeah. They have another Lord on their side too. They can use it. To their advantage, but looks like Evos will try to make a quick work of this Lord. Can they do it? Still gonna charge in despite them trying to chunk it down. Mid lane as well. Dealt with pretty well by Evos. Wow. Glory. Not able to crack the base open with the first or the second Lord Pather right now. Kabuki's doing a good job though right now with the BMI. Pops in. Eternal of Guard. Knocking Veldora off. And that's gonna be a lockdown actually. Aran jumping in as well with the last insanity onto Veldora. He might be able to find that. And my goodness, he just takes him out. That's a free turret too as Aran just flickers out to safety. Buys the immortality now. Lord number two gets them the first base turret. And look at that turret up top. It's very low. Vance looking for a trade. He should be able to get it, but... At what cost? Aura are not stopping the siege. Yaoi has been quiet for the last few minutes. He looks to, to find something here. Let's oh, see. he has the flicker oh. as well. Oh man, that BMI up top. Did you guys see that? Kabuki just pops in the battle mirror image to get the last few hits onto that base turret. And it was low enough to get taken down by just Dexter. <laughs> man, you have skill though. Get it taken out right there. Definitely not ideal for Aura, but at an 8k gold advantage, they're just running with the plan, right? They're still staying in the jungle. They don't care if their jungle is up. They're, oh, it's about wow. denying Aura, but look at Van. No purple buff. Didn't get it. Gugun again, showing his class. He's handsome. <laughs> He's zoning. He's not, just, not just Aran, but Yeskyo. Like everyone, Kabuki even. You can play like Skylar. Quite aggressively using the BMI to chunk up all of the frontliners of Evos. And there's nothing Evos can do about that. They have to chunk the free of the armor first to make something. Oh, Yaoi, look at that conceal. Oh my god, they beat it out of the death. That's welcome for nothing. Oh, good burst damage onto the back. But Heskill still was able to walk out. Man, just with the conceal, they beat out the death. And it's welcome, and it's a free lord again to Aura. That's the Yaoi pressure we've been talking about. And if looking at the items right here, in the mid lane at least, decent amount of items. Divine Glaive even competed for Warlord. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. And he gets the kick out of Veldora earlier. Veldora with a flicker out right now. Last insanity onto Van Strong as Van tries to deal with Kabuki, but he's not going to be able to do so. Immortality, Van Strong popped down. Super Red with his on force right now, but Goku will just soak it in and run back to safety. Has Immortality, Kabuki now with the Blazing Duet gets bursted down. Oh, Kabuki Ooh. loses Immortality now as Aran tries to back him up. That's a Wind of Nature pop, but Super Red deals magic damage and takes him down. Goku running Van Ooh. down, goes in for Shield Unity. Van should still have the cables. RGM popped in that shield. They don't have Eldora, they don't have Van Strong. Three members against four. Van going back and forth. Super Red now is a Mon Force, but now, oh, the Purify gets him out of safety, but he's already out of the Mon Force. He won't be able to cut himself out of this one. And now the base is wide open, even though Van tries to go for the assassination. Only the base is what is available to be assassinated. Aura takes game one. They strike first.